So here I am. I'm sitting here getting ready to watch this pathetic excuse of a Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Evo event. You know, getting ready to watch them get over on the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Glazers yet again. And I was looking at some other footage and I started to look at some Broly footage that just dropped. And the more that I began to look at this particular piece of footage, it got me to looking at other pieces of footage of Broly. And, you know, I, I caught on to something that I had not really you know, come to a realization on Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has designed the worst Broly in Dragon Ball games history. And I'm not talking about the pathetic character model because you might say Ikari looks good and even a regular Super Saiyan looks good. But a lot of people agree that Super Saiyan full power looks like utter garbage, like from a character model perspective. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the actual moveset, the combo animations of Broly. Looking at these pathetic combo animations, it really started to piss me off because I'm looking at him and they really reduced Broly to generic wide haymaker, generic wide haymaker, generic wide haymaker, uppercut knockaway. That's all they've really given this man for combos. And as a Broly fan, I might not be a fan of Dragon Ball Super Broly. I mean, I like the design of Super Saiyan full power in, from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, but I do not like the story of Tarzan Broly. I just don't like it. I like the OG Broly, right? And looking at how they've done this character, I'm a Broly fan, so it began to piss me off, especially when we compare it against Xenoverse 2 and the immaculate job they did over there with his combos. Now, again, what did I say? Generic wide haymaker, generic wide haymaker, uppercut knockaway, and that's his combos in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. When we look at Xenoverse 2, the way that they designed Broly was masterful. He, he's a masterpiece in that game like the way I just from a stylistic position like he stomps you into the ground he hammers you with his forearms he tackles you he clotheslines you this character feels like Broly you can even put his moveset on the OG Broly and it still again it fits that character because it is the essence of Broly he's not just a generic big guy you know he's not gonna just throw generic wide haymakers whatever the hell they did in dragon ball sparking zero you look at xenoverse 2 even if you don't like xenoverse 2 right you cannot lie that broly moveset is a thousand percent better than whatever the whatever the hell they were doing over here okay looking at sparking zero that is the most pathetic that broly has ever looked from character model, just a combo. This is like, take the character model because you know the Sparky Zero Glazers are gonna come defend that. But combo wise, how do you make Broly look generic and pathetic? You can slap his combos on Ultra Super Saiyan Trunks and you wouldn't know the difference. You would not know the difference, but if you threw Xenoverse 2 Broly's combos, the same animations, if you threw them on, let's say, if Ultra Super Saiyan Trunks came to Xenoverse 2, you would immediately say, well, why, oh, why, why the hell is he fighting like Broly? You would instantly notice the difference. You, that, that's how identifiable Xenoverse 2 Broly is and how it, it fits Broly so well that you can look at that at a glance and say, yup, that's a Broly move set. But when I look over here, they did this weird cockatoo, what the hell, like basic idol stance with him. Like they didn't do the, and again, the, people are gonna argue, you're just mad because they changed it from how they usually do Broly's idol stance. Look, Broly has an identifiable idol stance, both arms down, back up straight, scapula down so you can see his delt toys, his chest, all that. He has a very identifiable pose because the motherfucker is showing off. But looking at what they've done, they give him this generic weird cockatoo, whatever the hell, mar wannabe martial arts stance. And then it just comes out as generic haymaker, generic hay haymaker, generic haymaker, uppercut. Generic hay like what? It's more to it. You cannot lie to me and say that Xenoverse 2 did not do it better with Broly. You cannot, I, 
thank thank God they're not putting old movie characters in there. Cause I I don't like even even though I'm not getting this game, it still pisses me off to see Dragon Ball messing up anywhere. So when I see Spark and Zero messing up this badly, especially on a character, just Broly alone, the name Broly alone, even though that particular Broly in his story is trash, Dragon Ball Super Tarzan Broly, I still don't want to see the character messed up. I don't. I don't want to see any Broly lacking, and that's what they did over here in Spark and Zero. I'm glad that they're not putting movie characters in there, cause like if they were to ruin OG Broly, I, I'm glad. Don't put, don't, don't. I'm glad they're not putting movie characters in there. Don't, cause you can't even get the, the Tarzan Broly right. You can't get him right. So you know they would ruin uh, OG Broly. No clothes, lines, no stomps. It's like Xenoverse 2 really did come up with base form Broly. Said, nah, we turn it up. Base Warm Broly, we got the iconic stomps, we got the, the movie accurate transformation, and then Spark and Zero over here, generic haymaker, generic haymaker, generic haymaker, uppercut, like, I, and then another thing that I noticed, uh, particularly on Super Saiyan Full Power, they didn't even give him any rush supers, they gave him a bunch of generic key blast supers, super explosive wave, I think they also gave him the the Godzilla flame breath roar, uh, generic uh, what full power energy wave, and then they gave him the little tracking multi fire key key rockets that he fired in the movie at Gogeta, and that Gogeta just dodged or whatever. But they didn't give him any like physical moves, no no choke slams, no clotheslines, no 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 stop, no nothing. Like you know, and to be fair, they did put some of that on Ikari, but even then, it was limited, very limited. Broly is supposed to be a grappler. He's like yeah, he he has strikes. You know, he's supposed to be your king Zangief type of grab command grab type of character, and you didn't do any of that with him. This whole character is a freaking disappointment. How do you mess up Broly? You put him as the centerpiece character on the box and you ruined him. Ruined him. No wonder this 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 whole story is going from what Raditz to the end of the term of the power because they just said F the Broly movie stuff we just have him as bait for pre-order I guess but get, guess what the, the bait is, is trash the character is actually trash I just don't get how to get that wrong how do you get how do you get that wrong and I know people are going to come out in the conversation you don't know he, he might have hidden moves he might have hidden moves we don't know about <laughs> They can still change it at two months. Look, dude, this game could come out in literally a day. They can say, it's still early build. We still got a day. They still got 11 hours and 58 minutes. They could change a lot in that time. This game, it, 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 the community and the game, the game itself is a disappointment. If you accept the way that they've done Broly in this game, you're part of the problem, 100%.